I have to wait till I sit down. <laughs> Since I'm headed in a direction here, praise God. And so God has done something. I thank God with our, for the family and the sisters that we can do something. And since that time, I made two CDs. I'm on a radio station in Chicago, radio station in North Little Rock, Arkansas. And now, just about three months ago, praise God, in South Haven, Mississippi. All right. And you know what? I saw this day coming when I was about three or four years old. <laughs> praise God. They used to uh, say, what you gonna be when you grow up, boy? And we used to say yes, sir, to anybody that was over 21. I don't All care right. if his face was black or white. Oh, Amen. We wouldn't yes, sir, and yes, ma'am, because we didn't know how to say it. Yes and no, sir. Oh, and yeah, we no. <laughs> huh? Praise God. Amen. <laughs> but God blessed us. And I, I don't ever want to forget the, the roots that we came through. He was right, Strikes Chaplain. Praise God. Uh, Deacon Coleman gave me the telephone number to the pastor here. And I talked with uh, the pastor this morning and find out what he preferred, his policy. And I wanted to, didn't want to break away from it or do anything other than what he would have us to do. Uh, are, you saying, are you saying something? Christ? Yes. Praise God. Well, this is one of the songs on the CD. It is a tribute to Isaiah's praise, prophecy of Jesus being wounded for our transgressions. Praise the Lord. Bruised for our iniquities and with his stripes we're healed. Praise God. And I am. I haven't taken a pill since 1969. Not even an aspirin. And I'm as healthy as they come, Brother Earl. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. All right. I, I got all of my, all of my, all of my, I can just do it for the tape recorder. Amen. God bless you now.
chapter 4, verses 14 through 18. It says, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus, excuse me, will God bring with him. Oh, yes, he will. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. That means proceed, praise God, prevent. We want to proceed or go ahead of it. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Praise God. And the subject that God gave me is we'll meet again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And this is the hope of the believer. Mm -hmm. And we've known some, praise God, some prominent people in the Lord yes. that's been inspirational in our lives. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Some have gone on. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. And we have a blessed hope of seeing them again. And it's all because of Jesus who came 
so that we would be restored to what Adam lost in the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. Adam wasn't supposed to die. Mm -hmm. Eve wasn't supposed to die. None of their offsprings were scheduled to, got to die because when God finished everything that he had created, he said, it's good. Yes, and then he come out and put an exclamation point and say, it's very good. Yes. Huh? Yes. Praise God. And so we're not people that don't have any hope. As the previous verse says, we know where we're going. Yeah, and, and I'm not saying that we're going to be reincarnated. Right. Thank you, brother. Praise God. Thank God for Brother Ron, uh, <laughs> Reverend Ron Amen. Brown. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. I, I had my stand and don't know what happened to it. Maybe left it in Chicago, but we wanted to get here. But God has blessed us to be here today. And we can encourage, praise the Lord, the children and the grandchildren. We have a hope of seeing my sister again. Praise God. Amen. She inspired us in many ways. Praise God. She was one of the first ones that I hear, heard called my mother and daddy by their names instead of mommy and daddy. And so all the rest of us followed the rest of the family. Whatever they called them, we called them that too. And that's what they wanted to be called, so we called them that. Amen. But it was a close family. God blessed us. And I thank God that, praise the Lord, even though we were not rich, praise God, but we were happy. That's why I love the TV series, The Waltons. I said, now I can identify with them. <laughs> huh? Amen. Praise God. It's because God has got something for the church. And I thank God I can identify with just about every congregation, too. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. You Baptists, I can identify with you. Methodists, my wife was a Methodist, praise God. I can identify, for she and I are one flesh. Huh? Church of God in Christ, praise the Lord. I was a, a ordained and licensed in the Church of God in Christ originally, praise the Lord. Pentecostal, I worked with my brother for about eight years, huh? And in the army, they had all of us together, and we didn't worry about where you came from. What, and the, some people ask, what faith are you? And the scripture plainly tells us there's only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Praise God. And I found out there's only one heaven, there's only one God, and Praise God. One Lord Jesus Christ, and there's only one Holy Ghost. Yeah. But the great God who is our Father, now you may not have a natural Father that's living now, but we have a Father, praise God, that is greater than our natural Father. Praise God. Uh, our, our Lord is holding the earth together, the world together, the universe together. By Him all things consist in Colossus. He's holding it together. And He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got you and me, brother. Yeah. Huh? He's got you and my you and me, sister, yeah. in his hand. He's got the whole world yeah. in his hand. Yeah. Praise God. And then he's so powerful and so great that he knows the number of hairs on every one of our heads. Yeah. Yes. And he can pull one of them out and we'll get it mixed up with the other hair that he just pulled it away from. <laughs> right. Praise God. We'll get dizzy even trying to look at the first four or five. But our Father is great. He's better than any computer. And you are as important as any person on the face of the globe. Right. Now, let me, we don't need nobody to tell us that we're inferior to any other race. No, you're not. All of us came from the same race. Yeah. Huh? Amen. From Adam and Eve. And after the flood, it was Noah's three sons and their wives. Praise God. Maybe, well, maybe you are uh, one of these modern scientific people that believe in evolution. Maybe you came from a monkey. Well, you go out there and join Cheetah. <laughs> While the rest of us human beings, we're going to stay in here with Jesus. Oh, yeah. Huh? Praise God. But the Bible is true. And there's so much in here, they're finding out they got words. Praise the Lord. God is opening up something. They had a fellow that's written a book. Praise God. That a Jew. Yaakov Ramsell, I believe his name. Praise God. Why, they, you can 
in, in the book of Genesis, it has this described as Jesus there. My name is Jesus. Isaiah 53, which I just recorded from, praise God. He said, my name is Jesus of Nazareth. In the original Hebrew scriptures, not the King James or any other version, yep. praise God, they're finding out these things all. Uh, a real preacher, especially a pastor, is going to watch everything that's going on. <laughs> I, I try to imitate my father in heaven. He's watching everything that's going on. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I do it in church. And people can be talking, and sometimes they can be in the fifth or the sixth row, and I say, y'all quit talking back then. They're just whispering. <laughs> huh? Sometimes God will give you that. When you've been around the Lord long enough, sometimes he can do those things. I'm not telling you I'm anything special. I'm no more than you are. Hello. <laughs> praise God. Amen. Amen. Right. But getting back to it, praise the Lord. The Lord himself took on a body. In the beginning, St. John, the first chapter, was the Word. And the Word was with God. Uh -huh. And the Word was God. Amen. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of man, and it shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The darkness can't stay there. Then get down to the 14th verses, and the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Praise God. We're talking about Jesus. God the Father called him Lord. Yeah. Psalms 110 and 1 said, The Lord said unto my Lord, sit, sit on my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Right. Yeah. Praise God. Also in the first chapter of Hebrews in the 8th verse, God calls him, him God. What do you mean God? That means he's sovereign. That means he's divine. Huh? All right. I don't have to go through the omnipotent, omniscient. Praise God. I'm not present. All those things. But he is the creator of the entire world, the universe. Amen. And God did it through Jesus Christ. Amen. And then Jesus Christ became a human being. He was God in the flesh because he was not born of a man's seed. Praise God, because man's seed was polluted, so God said, I'll use my own seed. Yeah. And the Holy Ghost overshadowed a virgin whose name was Mary to fulfill a scripture written by Isaiah. Chapter 7, and verse 14. Praise God. I get in this. I don't know when it quit. Praise God. And he fulfilled every bit of the book from Genesis throughout the ending of Revelation. Jesus fulfilled the first coming of him. Praise God. And there's a second coming that he's coming back again. But he had to die on the cross for our sins. And we cannot say, Lord, you don't have, you don't have to die for me because I never sinned because you're lying. Because it said, oh, have sinned, right. Romans 3 and 23, and come short of the glory of God, all of us. Yeah. Praise God. Right. And 6 and 23 says the wages of sin is death. Right. Praise God. Yeah. 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 But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. So Jesus had to come to take the punishment that you and I deserve. Right. You and I deserve eternal hell's damnation. And anybody who's not in Christ Jesus is where they're going. Praise the Lord. Amen. But he died in our place. And after he died three days, God raised him up with a glorified body. Huh? To fulfill the scriptures. He showed himself. I worked for the police department for 20 years in streets and sanitation in Chicago for seven years. I learned from the police department how they gather evidence. I was not a policeman, so praise God. But you can gather evidence, and if you have more than I went, I more than two eyewitnesses to an event, it can be counted as fact, praise the Lord, or evidence that will stand up in court. Praise God. Well, Jesus Christ died and rose from the dead and showed himself, first of all, to the 12 apostles. And those that were women that were with him, Mary Magdalene, the first one, and praise God, and then he showed himself to the twelve, praise God, on two occasions. And he, he upbraided them because of their unbelief. A lot of people are still unbelieving today. 
Praise God. The Holy Ghost, I didn't know I was going to be seeing all this. Praise God. Then he showed him them his hands. That's how you can tell if it's Jesus or not. His feet. And had them to fill his side. Praise God. Amen. He said, check me out. See, a spirit or a ghost doesn't have flesh and bones that you see me have. Praise God. Amen. He ate the royal fish and a honeycomb after he rose from the dead with them. Huh? That shows you when you have a glorified body, you're going to be able to eat. You might not need to, but you will be able to. Praise God. Amen. He showed them himself. And if you have this, it'll stand up in court. Jesus appeared to them for 40 days in the 50. 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians says he appeared to more than 500 believers at one time. All right. Huh? Mm -hmm. Praise God. You're talking about a sure foundation. Yeah. I, I, I don't believe in Santa Claus, mm -hmm. but I believe in Jesus. Yeah. Huh? We were taught to believe in Santa Claus. He was coming down the chimney to put some ashes in your eyes if you weren't good. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He never came down the chimney. Thank God my youngest brother, tell him to wake up over there. He went up, upstairs and <laughs> He's been a traveling man. Went over there and found the toys that my mother and father had hidden from us. <laughs> Amen. So Santa Claus is a myth. But Jesus is just as true and alive today as he ever was. Right. Praise God. He rose and after 40 days he showed himself to his disciples. And then a cloud received him up into heaven and they were standing looking at him. Praise God. He said, going on out of their sight. Praise God. And then there were two angels that appeared to, you men of Galilee, why are you standing gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus. Notice what he said. The same Jesus which was taken up from you will recall, return in like manner as you've seen him go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's where we're at today. Praise God. The Lord himself is going to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel. And one of these days, we're going to take off these old bodies. That, uh, my, my sister is not in that body. Yeah. Praise God. Before the last breath, praise God, God took her own. And 2 Corinthians 5 and 8 says, absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Yeah. Praise God. And we got a home and glory land that outshines the sun. Yeah. Praise God. We're gonna, there's going to be a, a reunion in the air. I'm, I'm through, but I got to I gotta hoop a little bit, y'all. Huh? <laughs> Praise God. Amen. We're going to meet her again. Praise the Lord. Amen. One of these mornings, a song we often sing, and it won't be long. You're going to look for me, and I'll be gone. Going on to heaven to sing and shout. Nobody up there is going to put me out. Praise God. I heard the preacher read the scripture. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, for the Lord himself don't have to send Gabriel to get you, doesn't have to send Michael to get you. He said the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ. They're going to rise first. Yeah. Now, they've been dead for years. Yes. Uh -huh. But God, who created man from the dust of the ground in the beginning, yeah. is going to reunite that soul and spirit and body. Yeah. They might have been drowned in the sea or the ocean, but there's going to be a reunion of the body, the soul, and the spirit. Yeah. Oh, glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. One of these days, God is going to call us home. Yeah. Hallelujah. I believe it's going to be the rapture that's going to take place before the great tribulation. And the tribulation is coming. The worst time that ever came upon the earth. And we're seeing little preludes of it now. But after a while, well, we're going to hear that voice come. Sam up! Oh, servant. Sam up! Now you've been faithful over a few things. I want you to come up higher. And I want to make you rule over many things. Now let me check your record. And you got to look through the book and see what you did. Either he's going to say one or two things to you. 
Praise God. And every believer, he's going to say, well done. Well done. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Well done. You good and faithful servant. You've been faithful on a few things. Come on up higher. I'm going to make you rule over many things. Do you know that the saints are going to judge the world? The believers are going to judge the world. We just had a presidential election. Nobody knew what was going to happen. It was a long time before the president took office. But the, in that day, you are going to be as a president. Some are going to be as governors. Some are going to be as mayors. We're going to rule with Christ for 1,000 years. Did somebody say, oh! This old, this old body. Hallelujah. We shall be changed. I'm going to meet my sister, Brother Cliff. I'm going to meet my brother in law. I'm going to meet those that went on before. And you're talking about there's going to be a reunion in the clouds. Don't look for Jesus to come back to the earth, not for the rapture. We're going to be caught up. Did I say anything? Caught up! Caught up! Caught up! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Hallelujah! In God! I said God! I'm gonna sit down after this. I said God! God is gonna wipe all! I said wipe all! You can cry if you want to. But he's gonna wipe all! All the tears from your eyes! Because, hallelujah, there ain't gonna be no more crying there. There won't be any more tears in our eyes to cry. Hallelujah. Crying days will be over after a while. Boy, I feel like I'm gonna preach tomorrow, but praise God, I have to continue this. Hallelujah. But God is good. God is good.